five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> well, an electronic timer. Just what you need, particularly if you're playing board games such as Trivial Pursuit or Scrabble, where each player must be given the same amount of time to answer questions. Trouble is, electronic timers cost a lot of money. You might say, oh, well, we could use the egg timer from the kitchen, and you certainly could. The trouble is, each of these egg timers has been designed so that the sand runs for precisely three minutes from the top container to the bottom container, and that's a little too long for most board games. However, you can make your very own variable sand timer using a few simple things around the home. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a soft drink bottle, one of those soft, squeezy plastic type. It can be lemonade, cola, orange squash, doesn't make much difference. And you'll also need some sand, clean, dry sand. If you live near the coast, use beach sand. If not, use the cleanest sand you can find. Now, when I picked up this sand from the beach, it was quite damp, as you can see. It had been raining. So the first thing you need to do if that that's the case, is to dry the sand out. You can do that by spreading it on a tray or newspaper in the sun. If the sun's not shining, spread it on a tray and put it in the oven. This has been in the oven for about five to 10 minutes, and you can see that it's become quite dry and it runs easily. However, you can see there's some little bits of rubbish in it, sticks and stones and leaves and so on. So the next thing you'll need to do with it is to pass it through a sieve or a strainer of some kind. And that will hold back all the little bits and pieces of dirt and grit and it'll allow the sand to flow freely through. Not only that, if there are any lumps in it, it'll help to break those up. So there we are, we've sieved the sand and we now have clean, dry sand to place in our sand timer. You might say, but where is the sand timer? Aha, that's where the drink bottle comes in. After it's empty, you then have to wash it out thoroughly and then cut away the top third of the bottle with your scissors. Snip, snip, snip. You can see that I've almost finished this one. There we are. Now it's all the way through. And in the lid, make a small hole with the point of the scissors by just working the point backwards and forwards like that. Then invert the top third over the bottom third like that and your variable sand timer is almost ready to go. All you need to do at this point is to pour some sand into that top third, in through the opening, and it instantly begins to run, just as those egg timers ran. Now you can see now that it's possible to, variable the, to vary the amount of time it takes for sand to go from here to here by doing two things, one of two things varying the amount of sand that goes in the top or varying the size of the hole. And you have for yourself a sand timer which is variable and it's about as accurate as that electronic timer. When one person's turn is finished and all the sand is in the bottom, it's simple to reset. All you do is put your finger over the hole, pour the sand back into the top part and set it again and it'll run once again for exactly the same amount of time. And that timer is accurate for anything between about five seconds and 10 minutes. As accurate as an electronic one, but it doesn't take batteries.